Now, it takes confidence to follow your dreams or make a huge change in your life. Our diet and fitness guest is dedicated to helping women feel strong in both mind and body. Welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge personal trainer, Jamie Best. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, you actually changed um, careers completely about two years ago. I mean, what, what happened? Where did you go from to and how was it? Um, so I was in the New Zealand police. Um, I joined at 17 and a half and... I mean, I loved my career, but I just felt that, you know, dealing with women that didn't have self-esteem and confidence from usually domestic violence or drug addiction, alcohol, I really felt like I needed to do more to help women grow their self-esteem and confidence. So you become personal trainer? Yeah, so I, I left the police to actually start my clothing business, first of all, which was designed to help women with their confidence. And I also started running Fit Mums groups. So putting groups of women together to help build their self-esteem, develop friendships and network. Wow. Was yeah. it a scary time switching careers? I mean, you've done something for all of your life and it's suddenly stepping out of that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you go from a secure income, you know, the reliability of having hours to go to. You go to work and you get told, you know, what to do. You know, you know what to wear because you've got a uniform to wear. Everything's structured. So leaving that to go and just follow my dream was definitely scary. When it comes to your personal training business, it's obviously not, as you sort of mentioned, it's not just about the fitness side of it, is it? No, like I, I actually lost my father when I was 13 of heart disease. He was 41 and had a, a sudden heart attack. So for me, it was about helping, you know, other people sort of make their life improved through fitness and, you know, looking after their bodies feeling good about themselves. I mean, he was fit and healthy and it was a sudden, you know, thing that took him away. It's just awful. And there's so many men out there that, you know, they don't think to go and get blood tests or get their heart checked. So we've just started running fit men groups as well. So it's not just about the ladies, but... Yeah, I just want those men to be there to walk, be able to walk their daughter down the aisle, basically. Exactly, and that's right. If they catch things early, sometimes maybe they can be addressed. In yeah, some way. and I think a lot of it is about you know that neglect of you know being too scared to go to the doctor and get a blood test oh, or that's find such out a what's man wrong. Thing. That is such so, a bloke thing. Whereas yeah. we're like, whoop, we're in there pretty Straight much all away. the time. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you see your clients gaining confidence when they come to you? Um, it says so that carries on to other areas in their life as well. A hundred percent. I mean, I don't think it's just about specifically training with me but adding fitness in your life it gives you that whole escape from reality it also gives you that stress outlet you know if things are bad at home or you know you're not feeling that great about yourself you never ever go to, and do a workout and then feel bad afterwards mm, that's true it may not necessarily feel good when you're doing it but the feeling that you get after it is quite yeah, incredible isn't it definitely so I mean at the time they probably look at me like I'm trying to kill them and probably some of the sessions are super hard but it's about giving them that empowerment of feeling like, well, I actually can achieve this. And, mm. you know, maybe at the start they can't do a press-up, but they learn how to do a press-up, so it gives them that confidence. So what would be your number one tip for staying fit then? Um, consistency, 100%. Like, it's not about starting a diet. It's about doing something that you can stick to for the rest of your life and that you enjoy doing. Um, I think people make things too hard for themselves. They start you know, these really, really hard diets or these really hard exercise routines. They don't enjoy it and they're giving up what they love so they don't stick to it and then they end up binging or, you know, becoming worse. Yeah. So, yeah. Consistency is what all about. I love your outfit too, which you've obviously designed yourself as well. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along today. Awesome. Really enjoyed it.